And as you know, Wing Sing, we cannot have a successful election, free sure. and fair elections, without the police service. Under the leadership of the IGP, uh, they've done quite a bit of work in setting the stage already. I know they set up that election committee way before mm -hmm. this year, and they've been working at it. And you cannot launch it. Uh, and what I want to do this year is to hear from the, the architects, the, those who will be in the forefront of ensuring that elections are not only free and fair, but secure. Sure. And that's why we invited, of course, the, the IGP to be part of this particular event. And we are happy that uh, he sent over DCOP uh, Prince Gabriel Wagu to, be, to join us for this conversation. So we are grateful that you could, you could come over uh, to join us. Thank you so much. Uh, we are so grateful. Uh, the IG would have been here himself, but due to other duties of his that has taken him away, uh, he decided uh, to uh, send a team of us, uh, led by myself, uh, the Deputy Operational Commander, uh, that is Director uh, Abbas, uh, he is Assistant uh, Commissioner of Police. Uh, another lady will be joining us soon. Um, just to come and then uh, interact with you and then let you know that this election coming is a free and fair election. Uh, it's incident free. We know what we have put in place and uh, there's no cause for alarm. Uh, we have, you know, uh, gone through 2023 with a lot of elections, intra election, that is intra party elections for the NDC, for the MPP, and then just a recent one, that is the uh, district assembly elections, that assembly and then the committee member elections. So you see how within last year, the elections that we held and the successes that were out of it, they were all incident free. Mm. Uh, you can talk of the Kumawu one, which was quite tense, People thought otherwise, but the police took it like uh, water sort of drinking. And then the Ascent North one, which was also with some sort of high peak, but uh, things went on smoothly. So it tells you that uh, we are not leaving any stone on 10, especially when it comes to the general elections. Things have been put in place. We are training tell, us about, tell us about that, though, because I know the, the election security tax force was set up way before now. Yes. Uh, what, what are the structures that you put in place to ensure that this year's elections is, is very secure? Uh, to tell you the fact, sensitization is ongoing. Uh, we and the sister security, uh, that is the prisons, the fire, immigration, all are on the table. They are all doing what mm -hmm. they can do to... Uh, finish. Training is ongoing, vigorous training, of course. Uh, equipment have been uh, gotten, and uh, as of now, we still have even recruits under training, and all is geared towards uh, 2024 elections. And I'll tell you what, officers of uh, probably 300 are going to go to the college, and they will definitely pass out before 2024 elections. So these are some of the ways and then the measures that we have put in place to, you know, uh, see to it that 2024 election uh, becomes a success. Mm -hmm.